is Raquel with Paints and Glitter. I am coming here live and hoping that some of my friends will join me in a minute. Oh my gosh. I've um, been kind of running around and I did announce this video on Instagram and hopefully some people start trickling in. So I'm going to wait for a couple of minutes here and in the meantime, of course, do my housekeeping, which is to try to find my video so that if anyone comes in and says hello that I can monitor the chat. So um, this is going to be a video regarding Tonic Studios dyes and also a couple of little other things and hopefully we can make a project together today using the designer series um, or designer's choice dyes, sorry. So, hi Sandra, good morning. How are you doll? I'm gonna move my phone here. This is what I use to uh, look at the chat and sometimes it's not at the best angle. Of course, you guys can tell when I start looking down and up and that, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for the thumbs up. So as I said uh, just a minute ago, I did share this on Instagram. So I am hoping that some crafty friends join in with the chat and in the meantime, I'm going to take a quick sip here because my throat's a little bit dry, but just have my ginger ale there. I'm hoping that all is well with you, Sandra, and I wanted to um, not get too ahead of myself, but I had a haul to share, a kind of a collective haul, I guess, because some of these items, uh, as you know, all of the companies release so so many products all at once that it ends up seeming like you have old product even when it's only a week or two old so hi Beverly thank you sweetie thank you so much for being back here again you were with me in my uh, last live video so let me show you the end results of that because I did share it just a minute ago on Instagram and I wanted you guys to see the, uh, oh, Bevy. Okay. Good to know. All right. So I will, I will call you Bevy from now on. So this is the end result. And of course I had mentioned that I would put a little ribbon here, but because I'm not yet sending this out, then, you know, it goes, you know, without saying that that's going to need a little closure but this was the little um embellishment that I showed you guys that came from Joann's and now you get to see how I finished everything else in terms of the little pearls the little diamond dots and then the little bits of glitter here and there that I use to just make it a little kind of um um I guess a shabby chic look Oh, okay. Yes, I do. Yeah, I mo most certainly recognize you. So there's the top. Let me show it this way. Maybe it's better. There's the top. So this morning I decided to add a few more little gems here. That wasn't part of the video. I also added yet another flower back here that I had made and another leaf. Um, I added this little sprig here, which were just some... Um, pistols that were left over from a flower that I took apart for uh, some other project. I kind of tore the flower apart and used some of the petals, but it worked out great because then I could just use that here. So that's what I generally do is I keep little bits and pieces of things and then I end up using them on different projects. Thank you so much. So that again was the end result of that last live video and I had mentioned that today Hopefully I would come back and do another live video showing you the designer's choice uh, die for the chai caddy and hopefully matching it maybe a little bit to this one. Okay, so I am going to be doing some die cutting. I, um, if you guys are willing to stick with me, so it might be a long video because I had already prepped all the pieces for this. Yes, it does look like a treasure box. It's called a jewelry box. Um, but most definitely I've seen, in fact, one of the design team members, uh, she did make it into a treasure box 
and she made it very masculine because you can use papers that end up looking like wooden planks and all that good stuff and that was really nice too because you don't have to make a feminine project uh, with these either um awesome thank you so much i truly appreciate it so i'm gonna set this aside in fact i'll just put it here on my shelf um so here's the designer's choice die that i was mentioning just a second ago and this now if you don't know if you're not familiar with designer's choice dies they are available only for um for as long as they're in stock you know uh for one month generally speaking sometimes they sell out before the month is over and it's they they are released once a month for a price point up until now which you know that's all subject to change but for a price point of about twenty dollars 19.99 right the shipping however is lower if you only purchase this set Excuse me, one second. I've got cables and cords. I mean, in this cordless world, everything has a cord anyway, but <laughs> I'm gonna try to make sure I don't get tangled up and fall on my head. So bear with me, guys. This is my MacGyver uh, setup that I've got going on here. I just throw them around. Anyway, um, back to the point. So Tonic Studios was pretty clever in uh, bringing out this collection of dies that you could purchase once a month at a lower um, shipping price point. And that way you could get your hands on a beautiful die set that could have multiple uses. You can make a 3D item or you can make cards, whatever you want. But the idea being that it's one set um, exclusive and only available for that time frame so this is the chai caddy okay and as you can tell it comes in this little sleeve you can put it right into a binder so that's excellent for um, the sake of um, you know keeping everything tidy it comes in this little pretty um, packaging and this is kind of sturdy so if you want to use this to cut it with your dies you can do that as well um, at, at least as a kind of like a reinforcement and then you get a preview of the showcase and this was the showcase collection that they were previewing which was the coffee collection and as an avid coffee drinker I had to have that <laughs> so um this is another designer's choice i'm trying to find it i know that i bought it um here it is okay so this is the difference between the monthly kit you know what beverly i haven't gotten it in a while the only reason being that I've been getting so many of the other dies um, that I haven't um, kind of signed back up. It, they're all wonderful. Absolutely. The one, in fact, I regret not getting the last one. It was a little petal box. Um, but the reason that I didn't get that was because I was too busy getting all these other things. And, you know, you have to be kind of uh, careful about budgeting. At least for me, I do budget my expenses so um so this was the uh what's it called again coffee collection die set you may have seen this already absolutely adorable i did i think show um kind of sp a sneak peek of this but if you see this this comes with the magnet also and it comes with more dies it's a larger set than the designer's choice so the difference being that this has more detail if I had to compare them and it also comes with that magnet insert so this has a little bit of a higher price point so this is going to be somewhere between I want to say 36 or something like that um and I apologize that it's the number escapes me but this isn't like over 30 dollars right and hello db butterfly and welcome um please tell me your first name because you're Picture looks a little bit familiar, but I, I want to know your name. Um, it's Is it Beth? Let me see here. And I want to make sure I don't miss anyone. Uh, 
so yeah so that would be the difference so here's your twenty dollar price point and here's your thirty ish dollar price point this may have gone up a tiny bit i'm not quite sure but in any case they both come with a flat rate shipping if you only purchase this if you add on more things then you're going to see the difference in the the price of the shipping even still the shipping from tonic studios is reasonable in my opinion um so yeah so today as a matter of fact um my plan was to make this caddy so i'm going to start with that and god help us because it's, it's looking like a lot of die cutting yes me too i'm a die hard coffee drinker i've been drinking coffee since i was four uh, so I wish my mom could have told you guys that story when she was here, but it was at a funeral. Go figure. <laughs> I started drinking coffee at a funeral. Um, so here's the instructions that come with the die set. So this is something, uh, new ish that Tonic Studios has been doing. Um, and it is including some really specific instructions for those of us that are visual, of course. Yeah, I had my first my first cup of black coffee at the age of four, but whatever. As you can tell, it did not make me hyper in any way because I'm still slow as molasses. Anyway, this was another designer's choice. But let me show you, in fact, since you guys are here, so just so you see the variety, okay? This was a different designer's choice die set because I don't want you to think that they're skimpy. You know what I mean? So if you see that, how many dies are in there and then how many dies are in this one, okay? This makes a 3D project, but this one was meant for cards. And I've already used those photo corners. Um, actually, I've used quite a bit of this. Um, <laughs> your mom wouldn't allow coffee. Yeah. Me, I always have like the blood pressure of a, you know, a hundred year old turtle and all that stuff. So I'm always on the slow... Um, but that's okay. I overcompensate for all the hyperactivity in my household, <laughs> by the way of my mother, my brother and everybody else. They're, they're all the hyper ones. I just, I didn't, that genetic thing didn't, it skipped me. So, um, so here's another set of dies that I, um, hauled. And of course I had to get my hands on these because um this is the hopes and hexagon base creator die set it also came with the uh let's see if i can read backwards the memories half cut my memory book die set okay and then this one is the staggered leaves simple spines that you can use with those okay it also came as a bundle this entire bundle came with this beautiful moments tag sentiment okay and for the first time tonic studios included paper 12 by 12 paper that is so i wanted to show you guys because i'm uh, god willing going to be coming back showing you how i use these dies so let's go ahead and take a look at these papers these are the cut aparts and you do get two of these if i'm not mistaken and then on the other side, it has this gorgeous uh, floral, you know, the roses motif. And there's the bees. But what I loved about this in Eiffel Tower, okay, um, what I loved about this is that, of course, that mixed media effect. And the fact that they didn't go with a traditional yellow and black. Uh, I've done other bee projects. I've done bronze and brown i've done black and gold you know um so if you go back to my videos starting about two years ago i shared quite a few bee projects and um the reason being that this uh the bees was um just something that i absolutely love it was the theme of my wedding and uh, my husband is a beekeeper. So I had to have this. <laughs> now you see all the reasons why, right? Or the reasons why I'm justifying the purchase. 
And he was happy to get this for me because he said, absolutely, anything B, just go ahead and get it, you know? So look at how gorgeous. I mean, this would make a beautiful wedding album. Um, I don't know if Tonic Studios is going to keep releasing papers like these. I do hope that they make it part of their um, collections, you know, this more shabby chic style, which is definitely my preference. Um, yes, you know what? Sandra, I found some bee-themed ribbons that were stunning, but they were back in um, end of end of summer uh, at Joann's. And it was not with their crafty items. It was with their home decor uh, stuff. So that's up in my living room. I, I didn't intend to bring it down here because it wouldn't match any of my crafting uh, things. I tend to craft more on the shabby chic side of things. Um, not MH. Yes. Oh, then I'm going to have to check the, the Dollar Tree and see what that's all about. But I'm flipping these around, guys, just to show you that they are double-sided. Okay, so I'm probably repeating the pattern there because I wasn't really paying attention. Um, but you get a lot of bang for your buck, I guess is my point. And these are, uh, let me hold it this way, these are the postcards. Okay, so you see that? So you can cut these apart if you want. You can make envelopes out of them, that good stuff. And I guess, I think I'm repeating the patterns here at this point, but I love the music background, of course. Uh, oh, Maggie Holmes, okay. I like all of it. I love all of it. I, In fact, I have a few collections of Maggie Holmes. I think it's Carousel and another one that I still have and I haven't even broken into them um, because this whole thing, to me, this speaks of elegance and all that. But I also like cutesy. Uh, it doesn't bother me. What I don't like is, um, and I'm, you know, I might be generalizing. What I don't prefer is, I guess, the way I should put it. I don't prefer the whole cutesy thing with faces on everything. That's, that's not my jam. But, you know, it has a time and a place, of course, you know, for little kids and that stuff. Um... I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Okay, so this was the cover. So we're already back at the cover. So you can tell how much paper came with that. 18 sheets, 200 GSM, um, and quite substantial, and it was called Beautiful Memories. So the tag that came with that, by the way, um, says Beautiful Moments to Treasure. So that, that is one of the tags here. And it's this one. And then the other one reads, from my heart to yours. Uh, and then it says, a gift, from my heart to yours. So in case you're curious about that. Um, okay, so let me set that aside because that's not what today's video is about. I just wanted to show you guys how gorgeous, gorgeous it all is. I'm sorry, uh, the name of the paper, and it only came with a bundle. It did not come separate. It's called Beautiful Memories, okay? So, yes, it was a bundle and it was the paper together with all of the dies. It included the spine, the pages, and the tags, okay? So this makes the base of the book. This makes the half cut pattern with the honeycomb in it and this was the tags. Um, and then this makes two different kinds of spines, which is why I got it because I already have the other one that makes spines, but um, Yeah, and if you like um, Shabby chic Then um, Was I gonna say oh if you like Shabby chic Renee Bouquets has beautiful board pieces with B themes um, And I happen to have some of those I've already made some projects with it, but I also have some that I haven't used, and that's what I intend on doing with this as well. Um, okay, so I had to set that aside. And now, let's get to business. Um, have my card over there, so I had to turn around. 
Uh, okay, so let me know the whole lot to stuff tonic. Okay, very confusing. All right, so on my videos, all of my videos, I have links to Tonic Studios and I have links to Craft Stash US. Since you're in the US, then that's the, the link I would refer you to. Um, when you click on what says Paints and Glitter link tree, if you click on that link tree, you're gonna, all of a sudden, a new page is gonna pop up and it's gonna be a menu and you can click where it says Craft Stash or you can click on Tonic Studios, either one. In that store, if you just type on the search bar the word B, uh, you're gonna be able to find the bundles. That particular bundle with the paper may be sold out at this point, but you might be able to get your hands on the dies. So if, um, in, um, in fact, let me see if I can put it in the chat. Let me see if I can do this to make it a little bit easier. But under, under, on the description bar of this particular video, it says paints and glitter. And then you do see uh, paints and glitter. Um, it, it'll say link tree paints and glitter. But in any case, let me see if I can get you the link to... Um, Bear with me, ladies. Because um, I then have to go through here. And I try to have these things ready for you guys, but because I have that one menu, it's kind of like a centralized place for you to find all of the stuff that I do. And it makes it um, easier for me so that's why I do it that way. Um, it's kind of a one-stop shop. So let me see if I can put this in the uh, the chat for you. Um, copy and I don't know if this is gonna work, but let's give it a try. And oh. Oh, okay. All right. So, well, they do have a search bar and you can click on what I just shared there. Um, if you're interested, in fact, let me click on it and let me see where it's going to take you. Yep. So that link that I just shared will take you to, actually, it's going to be the trinket box, but you can just click where it says Tonic Studios. And it's going to allow you to, to type in the menu of whatever it is you're searching for, okay? But if anyone ever has any questions as to how to shop on either Craft Stash or Tonic Studios, oh, thank you so much, Beverly. If you ever have any questions on how to use them, let me know. I'm happy to share, you know, what I know about that, okay? Now, let's get crack a lock in here. I'm going to change the view of the camera. And this looks interesting. <laughs> I guess that's what I'm going to say. It looks interesting. Um, I hope you guys have patience because uh, I'm going to require it. Because I'm going to be learning right along with you guys. I'm I've not watched a single tutorial on how to make this. Okay. So let me change the view of the camera. And let's see where we can go with this. Okay. It's going to be like that. I hope you guys are okay with that. Please let me know. On my end, it looks cool. I mean, good enough. <laughs> I'm going to change the lighting too. So that you guys can see a brighter desk here. So I'm going to be using... Maybe primarily my Anna Griffin machine. That's what you see me touching here. It is an electronic die cutting machine that I do recommend. Yes, crack a lacking, girlfriend. All right, so it says number one. Oh, wait, it even tells me how many to cut. All right, this is sweet. Okay, so while I cut, I wanted to let you guys know that my girlfriend Sandy, who is Decorate Your Life, is having a giveaway. So... If you're interested in giveaways, then um, that might be one that you want to uh, hop on. <laughs> so
So she's easy to find. She's decorate your life with a number eight deck or eight, number eight, your life here on YouTube. You probably already know who she is. Um, so, so yeah, she's having a massive giveaway. She is also an affiliate of, um, and a design team member for a craft stash. So what is this? What is this? What is this? This looks like, I don't know. Let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay. So, um, okay. So this, um, die has the option of either having a circular opening for the box or a triangular one. Um, I'm going to go with, okay, it looks like I need to do that first. And this gives very specific instructions on how to cut these out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to follow instructions maybe for the first time in my life. <laughs> Who knew? All right, some of these. And we'll figure the rest out as we go. I think this is going to be, all right, some of the base pieces. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to cut. I'm going to have to run this twice because I don't think I can cut through 110 pound cardstock, um, you know, two of them at a time here. So where's, okay, I'm looking at... Uh, you were just going there, Sandra, then I popped on. Where's your mods? Oh, give Sandra. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Sandra, do you want to be my <laughs> my moderator? Because actually, Sandra wouldn't have access to my, uh, my store links, though. Those are all in the description bar. However, Sandra, if you want to help me out, girlfriend, I would accept your help for sure. Because every now and then I get, you know, one of those interesting human beings on my um, videos that are the ones who ain't got nothing more to do. <laughs> Y'all know what that's all about. Um, okay, so got that. And if you see these... Um, I might have to, you know, because I'm chatting, I might have to, like, write numbers on these things as I go. We'll see. All right, so I need another one of these, and I need another one of these. Um, all right, so, Sandra, you've been voted the designated moderator, so let me see. I'm going to... Um, Add moderator. There you are, Sandra. So in case we get any weird situations, <laughs> you're you're the moderator now. All right. So let's see here. I think I need another one of these for sure. And oh, and it's telling me I need this. Okay. So it's got this little half circle doohickey thingy. Um, and it says I need a bunch of those. So as you can tell, these come with this wicked strong tape. I'm not the biggest fan of this stuff, this double-sided tape, but it does its job, you know, for shipping. If you have, um, magnets, <laughs> which I don't, I'm completely out. I need to get some magnets. Then you can just transfer the whole thing over and you don't have to worry about that. Um, but let's keep going with this. And in my last video, I was asking the ladies who was going to be cooking or baking for Thanksgiving. And do you have any family recipes? Oh, Lord have mercy. I almost did that upside down. Okay. Do you have any um, family recipes that we should know about? <laughs> uh, Sandra's the mod queen. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> You guys are hilarious. 
Yeah, no, I appreciate the help though, because honestly, <laughs> um, it's hard. You guys probably already know this, you know, to make a video where you're talking, cutting, and reading. <laughs> I mean, you know, multi multitasking at its finest. Um, it's not the easiest thing to do. Okay, so according to this, I only needed two hexagons. Which, by the way, if you... Ouch! I just poked my finger. If you have the other hexagon dies, then um, here's another one. Actually, I'm kind of missing a little corner there, but who cares? Um, here's another little hexagon. This seems to be the theme, the ongoing theme, the little hexagons. I only needed three of these, so there's two so far. Now, I'm going to cut them, and then we'll kind of revisit what I cut, of course. I'm not going to try to make this confusing. And I've got my two little... There are two different size triangles there. Um, whatever the heck this is, I need four of them. And, all right. And then I only need two of these. So, okay, let's see where I can go with this. And then you can tell also, um, yeah, it's, um, it, it's, I'm definitely using both sides of my brain when I do this kind of thing. But I have to tell you guys, I used to work in an environment where, uh, for a little while, and thank God only for a little while, where I had to have conversations with multiple people <laughs> at the same time. Oh man, was that a brain exercise? Um, so, yeah, that's I. I say that's where I learned to split my brain, um, <laughs> because that was insane. And then I would have to translate for people too. It was hilarious. That job was just, you know. I have nothing to complain about with my life right now because I'm so happy I don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was inc incredible. I was recently telling my mother about it. It's like, just when you think your life is crazy, if you get a job like that, forget it. You know, I'd have to type, chat with people. Um, from different countries. <laughs> it was incredible. Okay, so let's keep, keep going with this. And um, I'm, all right, so what I've been doing here, if you couldn't tell, I think you can, is I'm looking at my little menu here. I'm looking at this <laughs> to make sure that I have everything cut out. Um, and I apologize that I didn't do it sooner, but of course I was, you know, doing other stuff and of course duh I just did this backwards I'm notorious for doing that <laughs> putting the dies upside down okay so I need six of those why I don't know but whatever and I think I'm done with this one hallelujah all right done with that because I only needed two of those so let's set this aside. I don't think I need that. And I only needed three of these. So see, I'm getting there, guys. I'm getting there. Come on, baby. Stay there. All right. Three of those. So as you can tell, you know, it's a process of elimination here. Four of these. So let me make sure. Oh, duh. There we go. Go to this one, this one, that one. Let's see here. So I've got two of these. I need two more. I've got one of these. I need another one of those puppies. There we go. All right. refresh this if you are inclined to do so um let me see here if 
you're inclined to do so, I do accept thumbs up on the videos. If you like crafty videos, and we, you know, craft uh, crafters on YouTube tend to say this a lot, but it bears repeating. If you like crafty videos and you want YouTube to suggest them to you, it helps the analytics if you give a thumbs up to a video. It just lets YouTube know that this is the stuff you're into. Not those creepy deepy videos that pop up here and there. Y'all know what I mean? I know I'm not into that, but... Um, okay, so I have two of these. Done with that. And I'm almost done with that. And as you can tell here, I am. I try to make use of the real estate here on my paper so that I'm not wasteful. I think that's really important also, especially when you you make a lot of projects that are layered like this and all that good stuff. Um, you want to use the heaviest paper that you can. I'm using 110 pound cardstock. Tonic Studios does sell even heavier paper. Um, and you can get your hands on it. Um, the base papers that they have, they tend to sell out rather quickly, but um, if not, you can definitely use heavyweight watercolor cardstock as well if you want. Okay, so where am I? Four of those done. Okay. Three of those. Two of these. Two of those. Two triangles. Where's my triangles? Right here. And six of these. So I've got three going there. Uh huh. Four. All right. So I only need two more of these. And it was six of these, two, four. So I need two more of these. Yay. Awesome. I'll get my base going and I'll still have enough paper for it. So if you're taking note, I'm still on my second piece of heavyweight cardstock, which is good to know as well. So yeah, what are you ladies working on? Sandra, I see the question here. Um, ooh, baby, don't want those to overlap. Two, four, five, one more is gonna be six. There, and two, four, five. Yay, let's put it down here so I don't accidentally crunch and munch my own dies. All right, getting there, getting there, getting there. And as you can tell, I have some rose gold paper here. And that's going to be my layers, two, four, six. And let's see, two, four, six. All right, we're good with those. Um, Let me take a looky, looky. That goes there. My bracelet. I'm going to take off my bracelet because it's got a magnet and it's sticking to everything. So bye-bye bracelet. Okay, don't need that. And I think I managed to get all of my base pieces. And it says to keep the circular full out dies from this cut. That's interesting. Because I'm trying to figure out if I need to layer. I don't think so. Duh. Okay, I think I did something wrong. Ha <laughs> ha! Mamma mia. All right. It's looking like I needed to partner up this one with this one. Oopsie daisy. So guess what, guys? You love and you learn. Let me get another piece of paper. And this time I am going to double it up because I'm not going to be here for three days. Let's just pray this works. Okay, so it's looking like these guys had to be doubled up. Like so. Let's see what happens. 
Now, if you want to know about sizes, because yesterday on the live video, I know Elizabeth mentioned that she didn't have a large die cut machine. I do use these larger plates because it makes life easier, but this particular type of die you can use on a smaller machine. You do not need the larger platform. Okay, you guys? All right, so we doubled this one up and let's hope this cut through both. Mm, doesn't look like it did, but for some reason I need this shape. And it said to save that. So, yep, this is not going to cut through two pieces at once, sadly. But such is life. Let's keep moving. Oh, you're still in bed, Bev. Have you been sick, sweetie? And if you have, I'm so sorry. Showing up my paper here, but there's that one. I'm going to try to line this up better because I'm in need of some space here. Let's see here. Let's just go with this since it didn't do with both pieces. And there you go. And the good thing is we only need four of those. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I can so very much relate. Um, been living with a, a back injury for the last year and believe you me I don't wish it on anyone I'm just now kind of seeing the uh, the light at the end of the tunnel as they say and I really do think it's due to the amount of prayer <laughs> so I really can't chalk it up to anything else So you're saying W, B, D, B, and I'm so sorry, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm probably, yeah, it's probably very obvious, but I apologize that I have no idea. I'm so awful at that. But yeah, prayer is um, the best medicine, let me tell you. I, uh... Okay. So this is the last piece of these stacking pieces that are gonna go together. It almost looks like a little bracelet set. Um, but that's what they look like. Oh, okay. Initials and nickname. I keep saying that I'm going to write everyone's names down. I keep telling myself that, but then I'd have to <laughs> rewatch all the videos. <laughs> okay, so I accidentally ended up with four more of these that I don't need, but I can use them in a different project, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. I have all of my base pieces. I'm done with this pink paper, and now I'm going to move on to the decorative pieces and I have selected here um, this paper in uh, rose gold okay this by the way is from recollections I know that I'm gonna need let's see here six of this one so I'm gonna try to cut this down so that I can double it up and God willing, that'll work. Um, so this measures, let's see here, one and, I can do a one and three quarter inch piece.
And if this guillotine is attractive to you guys, just to let you know, Tonic did come out with a new one. And it's in stock right now. So if you want to get your hands on it, it'll be much cuter than the one that I have. And I only say that because I'm not a fan of orange. <laughs> not that it's, you know, a bad color. It's just not my color. Um, all right. So I do need those. And I also need, let's see here. Lord have mercy. There's a lot, a lot of layering. Um, okay. And it's looking like, I'm hoping these are the same exact size. Nope. This one has a little tab here. And I'm trying to figure this out, guys. Uh, I don't know why it has a tab. But I'm wondering if this just has a reason behind it. It looks to me like if I use this, that I need the little tab to layer on top of there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it out, even if I end up not using it. Better safe than sorry. And I also want to use the decorative piece. And I think just for the sake of keeping it simple, I'm going to use this one. So you have options. It does come also, let me show you guys. It comes with this piece, all right? But because that cuts out so many little tiny pieces, I've opted for the other one that's right here, okay? And yes, absolutely, I agree with that. In fact, I think I wanna do this in gold. So I'm just going to cut another piece of this paper in one and three quarter inches and do this one in gold because that might layer on top of that one. I guess we'll figure it out. Um, okay, yeah, let's go with that. And the good news is if we hate it. <laughs> I've got, I've always got a trash can nearby. <laughs> Although I don't think that's, that's what's going to happen here. Um, so let me make sure that I know who's here with me. And I see, let's see here, Beverly, Sandra, and, um, Beth. Okay, I think I got everybody. Please let me know if I'm missing anyone. Yeah, I've learned not to get emotionally attached to paper, you know, because it just, it causes, you know, misting of the eyes. <laughs> so now it's more like, let's give this a try. And if I hate it, I, it's, I'm okay with tossing the entire thing and starting over. I don't even care. You know, okay, so you can tell I had to recut that. Um, I'm gonna line it up again, try to get rid of any weird pieces there. Um, line it up, and I, uh, I will only have to do this two more times if I get my act together here. Let's see if this cut through. Okay, it's looking like I might have to do this separately, so I'm not going to go crazy with that. Only because the pressure on this machine kind of varies. So, believe it or not, the, uh, the size of the machine isn't everything. And this seems to have, what happened here? <laughs> It, lo it lost, lost its uh, gusto. I guess talking about it wasn't the right thing to be doing. All of a sudden, it just stayed in limbo there for a minute. Okay. You can just do those base pieces, and I will do one more. Wait, I need to double it up. Double it up, baby. Double it up. Okay. 
and you can tell I mean these this can be done with a little bitty machine as well guys Okay, now let's see here. I've got those. So I'm just going to get started here because we can always apply more of those decorative pieces later on. And I might get out my itty bitty machine for that one. But let's see if I can follow instructions. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Okay, so it says here, one, adhere the side panels to the hexagon base using the glue tabs. And apparently, these have glue tabs that are concave, like so, okay? And they do look to be the same size, both top and bottom. So I'm going to get my bone folder out for this. see what happens and I want to make sure that I have these kind of end to end so I guess the idea here would be to make sure that you know what's your top and what's your bottom before you start gluing because you don't want to have a tab and a tab facing each other you don't want to have this situation so you do have to be mindful of that So guys, I have about 500 flans to make. <laughs> Someone come help me. <laughs> I just said this and I did it backwards. Duh. Okay. All right. I need to get my act together. Let's fold these up. Okay. And I'm going to do this one. Hi, Elizabeth. It is so nice to see you here. I'm so glad you were able to catch a live. Yeah, Sandra, I never exaggerate. <laughs> no, that's my dish of choice for the holidays. And um, so, you know, I get requests and that sort of thing. So I have to make, I'm not making 500. That'll never happen. <laughs> I'd have to start my own restaurant, <laughs> but I'm going to make quite a few. So I have to get started on that, of course, this weekend. So I am going to, uh, I think I'm going to have to be wearing a tank top and a pair of shorts all weekend because my oven is going to be on and on and on. Uh, yeah, it's, um, it's a, in uh, French, it's known as creme caramel. So you may have had it um, at a restaurant or something. But it's a family recipe. So, why am I missing one? Two, three. What did I do? I'm supposed to have three of these? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. For, for some reason, I thought I needed four of these all of a sudden. Okay. So, there's that. And I need a hexagon base, it says. So, I'm assuming it's this one. Um... Okay, so before I get that going, I'm going to apply my adhesive. Yes, flan is delicious. Um, and my mother would make it when I was a child. And of course, you know, you grow up watching mom bake, then you learn to bake. And um, I then, as an adult, started tinkering with the recipe and reading different versions and things like that. Because in, depending on which region of Spain uh, a person is from, it's just like anything else. You know how Italians have their sauce and then they have their gravy? It's the same with the desserts. Uh, not all families make it with the same, uh, the same flavorings and things like that. So now I make a coconut version. I make coconut rum 
I make a cheese version, which is popular in Puerto Rico, the cheese flan, vanilla, um, and pumpkin, and I've made a mango version as well, which this year, I don't know if I got the mango puree or not, but um, yeah, so I have that to look forward to this weekend. Okay, so let's get our act together here. This is going to adhere to this base. And I hope I'm in frame. Yes, I am. It's going to adhere to this base. Okay. I am going to, let's see if I can use glue. Um, or no, I'm not going to use glue. <laughs> I'm going to use uh, maybe a combination of glue. I'm going to start it off with adhesive on the base here just to keep it um, tacky. Okay. I'm just going to try to make my life easier here. Anything with cheese? Oh, girl, Elizabeth, you'd be happy in this household <laughs> because I, I feel like we eat cheese like it's going out of style. Oh, my gosh. Um, especially since I was doing keto for an entire year and I've, I've fell off the wagon because my mother came to visit. So I'm blaming her for my inability to stick to my, my uh, way of eating, my, you know, my diet. Uh, but yeah, I was eating cheese on the daily, but good news, you know, which is so interesting, this whole keto thing, you know, how people call it a fad diet and whatever. But a year ago I was told by my doctor, you know, like, oh, I want you on cholesterol medication and whatever the heck. And they tell you if you eat too much cheese that you will have high cholesterol. Well, guess what? <laughs> It's not the case because I was eating cheese like it was going out of style and my cholesterol levels went down. It was like no, no medication needed. Um, and oh, and by the way, eating bacon, eating meat, <laughs> which I used to avoid. So I switched my eating habits to that and lo and behold, my, uh, my health got better lost weight and all that other you know all the stuff that comes with eating healthier which is so ironic all right so you see what i'm doing here i'm just going to repeat that two more times yes it most definitely worked for me what what i can take away from it and what i can impart is that it's just like anything else it requires discipline it requires saying no i don't want that big old slice of cake <laughs> Hi, Pam. Don't worry, sweetheart. There's no rush. And today, this is just, you know, us crafting here, taking my time. I've never made this before. And this is, you know, ladies chatting. And you haven't missed a heck of a lot. Just a lot of... Actually, you should be grateful. <laughs> because I just was doing a whole lot of boring paper cutting. And now I'm finally getting to the assembly part of this. So I took the, the glue off of there. Maybe that wasn't such a great idea, but we'll find out in a minute. Um, and I'm doing kind of like this little stadium building here. Um, but yeah, the, the whole keto thing, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be, but I do have to say that I grew up cooking. I have been cooking, oh Lord have mercy, for many, many, many years. <laughs> um, yes. Absolutely. And Pam, you're absolutely right about that. It doesn't matter. Uh, what matters is the ratio of your good to bad cholesterol, which, you know. Um, and I had my blood work done and all that good stuff. Um, and what happened in my case was that my doctor said, I want to put you on pills and I hate pills. So I was like, uh, no, <laughs> you know, um, I know that diabetes and High blood pressure and all that stuff can be um, regulated by how you eat. So I just decided to change the way I ate. Now, having said that, my mother was here visiting just recently. She just left this week. And the woman cooked up a storm. And I was having rice and beans and all the rest of it. 
<laughs> oh, you know what? You can get yourself off of medication. You know, the, the, the medical community, they're not, they're not the police. <laughs> um, and if you, um, if you meet other people, which I have, I've met other people that got themselves off of medication by just changing the way they ate. It can be done, you know? You just have to be careful, that's all. Um, I hear people, Mark? I think my husband's in and out today. Yep, he's home. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Um, if you read the side effects of all the medications that Big Pharma, as I call it, likes to push, you have more of a reason to put down a cookie <laughs> than you ever do to listen to your doctor. <laughs> because they'll get you on that stuff, and of course, you know, that's my personal opinion, but of course this is my channel so I can say whatever the heck I want. <laughs> and yeah, I didn't exercise at all, Sandra, though. I did not. All I did was change my eating habits. That's it. Uh, because I had a back injury, so I actually had to stop exercising um, for the first time ever. You know, kind of like, nope, you can't do that at all. And I thought, oh boy, this is it. This is the end of my life. And it wasn't. Yeah, that's good. You have a good doctor then. Um... Because I was so, so surprised at how quickly the, I saw the changes. Um, it was amazing. Okay, so if you see here, I'm just adding a little bit of that liquid glue. As I say, that tape, double-sided tape, helps you to get that initial tack going. But if you really want a strong hold, you kind of want to... Um, supplement that if you will with the liquid glue okay and i am following that up with my bone folder okay so we have a base you don't have to make a tea caddy with it but you can certainly do so and i have a little visitor here who's screaming at me she's my cat and she's trying to get into my studio what's the matter Maisie? <laughs> It is, Pam, If uh, because that was another thing I was told, to be careful about my blood sugar and stuff. All of my panels came back wonderful. Um, and again, I did it for myself, you know, to avoid all that. Because what happens is your insulin levels don't spike because you're not eating any sugar and you're barely eating any carbs. And the ones that you do eat come from vegetables no grains, no pasta, none of that stuff. So, yeah, so it's looking like that. Let's see what's next. It says here to do the triangle apertures. Okay, let's do that. And that's this here, okay? My cat's screaming at me. <laughs> and there's only two of these. Yeah, so let's glue these guys together. She's a funny girl. Maisie, leave the door alone. My cat's trying to open my door. I have a, one of those farm doors that slide in this room. And she's literally sticking her paw in there trying to slide it open. She's so funny. Yeah, and you're right. Yeah, it all, every, all foods, they all turn into, you know, sugar in your body. So if you think about it, how hard your, your pancreas has to work um, to create insulin every single time you eat. And so a big po portion of that whole keto thing and what I found out for me anyway that really helped was the fasting aspect of it. Um, so the better... Uh, the longer you're able to fast, the easier it is for you to maintain, you know, that eating habit of only having a very low quantity of carbs and then everything else would be uh, protein. 
Um, and I found it to be spiritually refreshing. And that's, you know, no coincidence there, of course. We're, you know, we Christians were called to fast. Um, and not only from food, but from everything. Um, so I just found that to be like, oh, wow, this is really cool. You know, this is an eating habit that requires fasting. The first time I've ever heard of that. Um, so if nothing else, for spiritual reasons, it was, you know, a wonderful way to go about eating. So, okay, so I'm just applying a little pressure here. A little pressure. The fasting. See, now, the... I would have a conversation because, um, yes, it takes your focus off of why it is that you're eating. So if you're anything like me, you know, that whole cultural aspect of we eat when, so, you know, somebody gets married, you got to eat. Somebody dies, you got to eat. Someone's birthday, you got to eat. <laughs> you know, everything revolves around eating. Um, when you remove that emotional aspect of it, um, See, yeah. So see, Elizabeth has done it as well. Yep. Oh, and then the pand uh, of course, the pandemic didn't help anyone because it's like you can't get out to see people. Uh, but, you know, food is always there. That's how it goes, right? Um, but if you break that relationship with food, of it being your, you know, BFF, or that thing that you use to celebrate, then you'll see a huge change right there, you know? And I just think for women our age, because I think we're all in the same age group here, you know, it's huge. Um, okay, so this is what we have. There's a reason there's a triangle there, um, and that is going to um, make a difference in how this locks. And that's why this is kind of funky and unique, is that lock mechanism that's going to come next. So for that, we need to create a little bit of height. And that's where these come in. I call them the little bracelets because that's what they, they remind me of Indian bracelets. But we're going to stack this. It's going to create some height. And of course, I could have inked all this. I just opted not to today. Um, so I'm just going to add my glue here. Da, da, da. And I know the paper cutting is tedious, but I think this is, it's turning out to be quite neat. You know, but yeah, years ago I had done, um, I remember Weight Watchers and I, it was hilarious because, <laughs> you know, when you're young and stupid <laughs> and I, I mean, I think, I think I still am, you know, maybe not young, but <laughs> and you say things you shouldn't say. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So um, I had had my my first child and I went to my doctor because I gained a ton of weight from the pregnancy and I was so upset. I was like, I don't know what to do. You know, I want to lose this weight and I keep gaining and whatever, you know, hormones. <laughs> um, so he said, well, you have an option either become, and this is what he told me, right? A doctor, either you become a vegetarian Okay, because he's thinking of my medical history and whatever. Become a vegetarian or go to Weight Watchers. Um, now, I was not a huge uh, meat eater at that time. I could have very easily become a vegetarian. But I, now, looking back, I'm glad that I didn't. Um, yeah, no, I didn't find it to be restrictive at all. I found that... Um, I would, I'm, my competitive edge kicked in because they gave you points back then and they would say, okay, you need to keep your eating to this many points. And then the serving size of food was attributed a certain point, uh, number. <laughs> and what I thought was, oh, wait a minute, you, you get your base points and then you got extra points to use through the week in case you couldn't handle it or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> But I was so competitive that I never used my extra points. And I was working out like a maniac um, because I loved it. I, I just had fun working out. And I dropped all the weight really um, quickly. Um, and 
I also learned that I was eating for emotional reasons and not because I was hungry. So, yeah, filling up on free foods, which is basically the same concept of, you know, eating high fiber foods, eating vegetables, you know, no one ever got fat eating lettuce. Let's just face it. <laughs> Hold on one second, guys. Are you in here to say hello? Is that what you want to do? Why are you yelling? Go away. Go away. Speaking of emotional eating, I think that's the issue my cat has. <laughs> She's literally screaming because it's, what, noontime or whatever? And she wants more food. I'm going to put her on Weight Watchers, see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but I, I went to one of those meetings and I was such a, oh, ditz. I was like, oh, I thought this was for people who had problems. <laughs> it's like, hello, newsflash, girlfriend. You're the one with the problem. You're sitting right here. <laughs> no, trust me, Elizabeth, she's not that friendly. She doesn't want to be with me. She just wants to be fed. The cat is just, she's not one of those friendly cats at all. My former cat. You know, she was. She was a sweetie. This one? Mm -mm. She ain't nobody's friend. <laughs> She's just like, aid me, woman. All right, so this is going to go right on top. And I'm loving this. Um, I've used this before, but it bears repeating. This Nouveau glue, it dries quite quickly and it dries transparent and Tonic has been really awesome lately about bundling them. So I did pick up the bundle of these and I do recommend it. Seriously, she's about to destroy my door and I'm going I'm going to have to put her in the basement if she don't knock it off. Girlfriend, cut it out. No. I said no. <laughs> I think my husband's in his office, so maybe I might have to text him and be like, could you feed the cat? <laughs> yes, there's that. Okay, now what comes next? This is going to be the interesting pot here. Okay, so we have two of these. <laughs> She's freaking out. <laughs> oh my gosh, this cat is out of control. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. There's this. I just find it to be humorous that an animal can be so bent out of shape about food. Yeah, yeah, that's what she's doing, but she only does it if she wants to be fed. Oh my gosh, even your bunny does that, Elizabeth? I didn't think bunnies could have, like, you know, an attitude. <laughs> I stand corrected. Um, I'm trying to figure out what this is for. Let me see here. So I needed two of these, I think. Right? Yeah, two of these. Um, I don't know why I needed six of these. I'm trying to figure... Oh, okay. I got it now. So, four of them stack. Three, four. And then two for the top. Okay. Capiche. I got it. Alright. So, I've got two triangles that I glued together. I have two of these. That's hilarious. Oh, my gosh. I um I'm afraid of bunnies. I have a healthy fear of any animal that you know makes faces or whatever. You know their little noses tremble. It freaks me out. And here's why: when I was a kid, I would bring home every stray animal I ever found. Um, and for some reason, <laughs> now looking back, I I can think of why. Um, I was at the park and I found a hamster. <laughs> I'm not even making this up. And I brought it home. I was like, oh, it's so cute, right? I bring this hamster home and I put it in a box. And every time I reached into that box, that thing chewed into my hand and I, and you know, would draw blood and I would like scream, but I still wanted to love it. I was like that little girl with the, um, <laughs> remember the old Looney Tunes cartoon where she's like, oh, I love you. And I'm going to hug you and feed you and call you George. 
That was me with that little hamster, but he didn't love me. He just <laughs> bit me. <laughs> I didn't know any better. I just let him do it. I was like, ow. Oh. <laughs> Never mind the blood. <laughs> He's my friend. Oh, gosh. That was a sign of things to come. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So now I see I see hamsters or bunnies or whatever and I'm like, yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what was up with that little critter. I was being so nice to it and fed it and everything. He didn't want to have anything to do with me. He was like, nope. <laughs> Which probably exp explains why I found him outside in a park. Somebody probably just flung him out the window. <laughs> Like, enough of you. <laughs> All right, so the little circles that I stacked, you guys probably saw it was four of them. They're going to create this little lip there. And this project is all about dimension. There's two of these guys, nice and sturdy. And this is 110 pound cardstock. So um, now the, this triangle is going to adhere on this. Okay? And that's what's going to help us have a closure to fit on here. What I want to make sure I do is that I make this as centered as possible because if I don't it's going to have a wonky closure. So I think that my way around that is going to be to use the die as my gauge on here I just want to make sure that I can get it right back off. So I think I'm going to use this and use a pencil. Why not? Somebody took my pencil. Oh, the savory, I tell you, the savory. Oh, that's so cute. Someone ran off. Oh, no, here it is. Blame people for stealing my pencils, but it, it's been here all along. Okay. There's that, that, and that. Okay. So again, that's just because I'm a newbie, and I want to make sure that I put this on here correctly. So I'm just going to be generous with my glue here. And... Like a kaleido... Yeah, you know what? You're right. It kind of has that feel about it. All right, so I'm gauging that like so. So if you see, I drew the lines on there and um, here we go. Maybe you guys can see it better there. Now all of a sudden the sun decided to come out. But I use that die to just kind of draw that triangle there. And I'm going to let this dry, but you see the little cushion there? Um, that's what's going to allow this to have that element of um, dimension, you know? Now, on the other side of this, we have the two circles that were left over, like this. And these have a score line in the center, and that's, now they come into play. They didn't before. They are the same circles that are stacked in between these two pieces. But in this case, it's going to create the um, handle for our little lid. And guys, on my um, screen, I only see a square, but now I'm looking over at the other side and I see that you can see my machine and everything. Um, but please let me know if this view is okay. Um, because I can move my camera and of course, you know, late in the game, but I can move my camera over a little bit like that. Maybe that would have been better. All right, so I wanna make sure this is nice and even. And on here, I can add some hot glue, why not? Try to be generous also. And just to make sure that this adheres. And this is gonna go right smack dab in the center of this lid, like that. There we 
we go. Let's, that's that. So if you do not have this die set, but you want to use this technique, you can totally do it. Um, thank you. You can totally do it with a circle die, a smaller circle die. You know, it's just about diameter, of course. You want to have one that fits inside of the other. And then this is a triangle. I mean, this is complicated as that gets, but it's pretty cool, I think. Um, now it's going to fit in here by, you know, the little game we used to play when we were toddlers, fit the shape into the shape. <laughs> That's all there is to it. So you match the triangles, right? And then you twist. Once you twist, naturally it'll lock. And that's that, you know? I think it's really clever though. It totally reminds me of the little toys you give to a toddler to see if, you know, if they're if they're paying attention. <laughs> um, so, Okay, sorry you guys, I was just taking a peek at the chat there. I'm gonna take a sip of my drink. Let me know if everything's okay, Sandra. I would assume it is, but. Now these side panels can come into play. Um, just like so. And then the decorative panels on top. No worries, okay. Yeah, I figured that much. And here, I just wanted to point something out. If you see the the levels of, um, or the, you know, the number of layers there, this is quite chunky up there on the top, okay? It is. It's very sturdy. I'm really, really liking that. Um, and then these little pieces here, which I think I'm going to cut them out again, because I cut them out of this 110 pound cardstock, but I'm thinking that should have been done out of uh, decorative paper instead. So let me go ahead and do that since I'm thinking about it. Um, and I'm gonna use my baby instead of the big mama jama. Let's use the baby. And this way you see, and I, guys, I cannot control the light at this point because that's coming through my window and I never got around to making the curtain <laughs> that I was supposed to make um, but I want to show you how this is gonna look so let me see if yeah this this bit of light right here oh uh, let me see if I can move this yeah, there's nothing I can do about it. So I, I apologize for the glare. But I was thinking this box would be great if you were to use, um, and of course hindsight's 2020. If you were to use this die in particular, see how it cuts all that out? If you were to cut into these side panels with it, okay, and create kind of that lantern effect, then you can put a little tea light in there. And shame on me for not thinking of that first, but, um, you know, we revisit these projects and I can always come back and make another one. But... Now this is going to get, you know, it'll get blinged up now. It'll look really pretty. Oops, I think I can. Let me see. Absolutely, yeah. I agree with you, Pam. Boy, she's nothing if she's not tenacious, this little kitty cat. <laughs> I feel bad. But... At the same time, I don't because I know she's never been starved in this household. She eats more than anybody else. You're going to hurt yourself, sweetie. Oh, my Lord. Bear with me, guys. I'm going to show you the little critter. 
Don't run away, okay? Don't run away. No, you're coming to me. If you're going to open my door, you need to come to me. Come here. Here she is. Let me see if I can lift this. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This is, do you see her? This is the queen right here. She's the one creating all the fuss. Say hi. <laughs> her name is Maisie and she's been screaming and she's not generally allowed in this room, but she's going to have to go. Go mama. Go. I will be up there in a minute. Ciao, ciao. She's so confused. <laughs> She's so confused. Let's get back to this. Thank you. She's a baby, you know? Or she's the baby of the house, I should say. Oh, and she always gets her way. Oh my gosh. She sits there screaming. And you know what's next is she'll go out there and claw the bejesus out of God knows what. Anything expensive. Yeah, she's a, um, actually, thanks to Elizabeth, I found out that she was a rag doll. Um, I need one more. And the running joke is that she gets more likes on Instagram than anything I post. <laughs> so I can post 50 crafts, but if I post one picture of that cat, the world goes crazy. They're like, oh my gosh. But she is adorable, I have to say. All right, so there's that. Now, just to let you know, this die set did come with uh, another little triangle, triangle that says just to say, and that can be used with this project or separately. Oh, wonderful. Is it a, um, is it a white one, uh, Pam? Let me know, because um, I found out through Elizabeth what type of breed she was, because I, I wouldn't have guessed that she was a rag doll, but when then when we picked her up, she did that whole, they do this motion where they, they look like they're playing peekaboo, their little paws go in like this automatically, and it's so stinking cute. So my, my son picks her up every single day just to see that. Oh, hello, Carolyn. Thank you for being here, doll. So again, these little guys, they're going to fold like this, and that's going to create our edge. Oh, Lord, I'm trying to show you guys this. Here we go. White and light brown. Okay. That doesn't surprise me because I think most of them um, started out like that. No, this goes like this. Sorry, guys. It goes like this. All right. And then I think the the breed was uh, first bred with a white and brown cat. And then they bred it with a black cat. And that's how they got the black rag doll. Okay, so this is going to go right on the edge here. Like so. It's going to give that nice finish. I think I need a bit more glue here, but I like this because it's going to cover up that unsightly edge. And I love, as I've said in my previous videos and all the other ones, that's the one thing I like about Tonic Studios is they think of these things. Um, <laughs> Sandra, are you okay? <laughs> uh, no worries, um, Carolyn, I can always recap. I'm not in a rush today. I'm just hanging out and crafting with my chicas. So I can always show again because some of the ladies came in a little later anyway. So I'm just going to be generous here. And you learn as you go with these things, of course, where to put the glue and all that good stuff. Oh, you're testing yourself? <laughs> hey, have fun with it. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, but have fun. Knock yourself out. <laughs> I'm like, Sandra's playing peekaboo over here. What is she doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Okay, so there's that second one. Let's keep going here. And pardon my sense of humor, but... <laughs> oh, I see. It's okay. That's how I learned to use computers back in the day. I just click on it. I still do it. Click on every button. You want to know what it does? Just click on it. Worst thing that can happen is that you have to click undo. <laughs> Okay. I'm really digging this because it's got those little details. <laughs> hey, you're amusing me and it doesn't take much as you can tell, but <laughs> I'm fine with it. <laughs> okay, keep going. Going, going, going. I'm picturing this with uh, some really beautiful floral papers also, guys. Um, which I think would be absolutely stunning. Okay. Two more to go here with this shape. And I would go faster, but I do have to make sure that this paper makes contact. And inevitably, the only way that's ever going to happen is if I hold it on there for a second or two, you know. If you rush too much, that's when you get wonky edges and all that jazz, and I'm not about that. <laughs> I'm a bit of a perfectionist, if you couldn't tell. Okay, so there's that. One more. Oh, goodness. Sorry, guys. I didn't realize my scissors were in the way. Okay. See, now I picked up my cat, and inevitably, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I don't want to get any flyaways on there. So, Carolyn, I wish you could have been here for my other live video. My mommy was here visiting, and it was so much fun. Because I really just, I had to push her to allow me to, you know, put her on a live video. Um, this is not actually the coffee cup one. This is the chai box, is what it's called. Um, let me see here. Uh, it's Chai Caddy. I'm sorry. The It's called the Chai Caddy. But I do have the coffee cup one and I'll... Um, it's not a 3D coffee cup. That one was sold last year and I did not jump on that and I'm regretting it. <laughs> but uh, I have the silhouette and the silhouette has a very similar... Um... Yeah, you know what, Carolyn? I'm a, I'm a ditz. I should have totally done that. Um... My mom, she, um, she, she's a jack of all trades, but she's, um, she does more painting than anything else. Um, and in fact, I did show some of the paintings that she did while she was here and I can show them again because they're right here. Um, she just was playing around and she did these little ones and they're, um, in Spanish, this is known as Hortensia, and in English, these are called, um, gosh, every time I say it in Spanish, I forget the English word for it, but yeah, this is just her playing around, by the way, <laughs> but we also uh, collaborated on a larger painting that I now have to finish, because she had to leave, um, so once that one's done, I'll show it, um, but yeah. That was fun to wa just watch her. We were just talking. I was crafting and she's sitting there talking and two minutes later she's got that done. Um, which is not unusual. So I do want to put this panel here. But I'm trying to see why this offered a... Um, it's kind of odd. There's two different options here. There's this one. 
that kind of matches up with that little lip. And then there's this one that's just solid. So let me see here. I'm going to have to run this through again. Hydrangeas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And yeah, for some reason, that name is hard for me to remember if I say it in Spanish. It's the weirdest thing, but um, I'm just going to put a little tacky uh, washi here so I can run this through. And that way you guys can see how beautiful this cuts out. And the benefit of these smaller machines, of course, is that they give you the opportunity of running it through twice without much effort. Now, see, years ago, my mother, um, and I'm talking over 40 years ago, my mother did ceramics. And that's, I've mentioned this before on this channel, that's where I learned to do flower shaping was by watching my mom do ceramics. And then, um, let me see how I can do this. Huh. I guess there isn't a way to match it up. Nope. It's one or the other. I can't do both. Unless. And, um, so now, um, she does oil paintings and things like that. Yeah, I've done watercolor and I've done murals. That's something that I absolutely love. And if I could get back into mural painting, oh man, would I love that. But I've done some really big murals. Um, and I shared before, that's, that's how I discovered that I could paint. <laughs> kind of happened by accident. I started painting in my son's room. Um, yes. Yeah, the sewing thing in our family, that was, my mom did that as well. That's why I say she's a jack of all trades, because she could sew uh, christening gowns and baptism gowns and that sort of thing. She did that. Um, and, okay, so I'm going to pair these guys up, because I think it looks nicer like that. Yep, that's how it's going to go down. Okay, so we're going to cut these out. And I'm just going to set this aside for a second because I don't want to get messy. But this is the elaborate part of this. And I think it's going to be well worth it. So I'm just going to measure out my little die here. This measures about one and a half inches, maybe a little bit bigger. And I'm going to use this beautiful golden paper. So yeah, it, it pays to have a creative parent um, because then they encourage you to be creative as well, even if it's inadvertently. Um, and I'm, you know, so happy about that because my mom was always doing something, something creative, whether it be in the kitchen, as she mentioned, what she likes is to cook and paint. Um, but... She was the type of person that if somebody was getting married, and uh, and I witnessed this myself, and if they uh, last minute needed uh, alterations to a wedding gown or whatever, bridesmaids, she could make a bridesmaid's dress in, you know, in a few hours, that sort of thing. Um, oh, hi, Louisa. Ooh, cafecito, yeah. Lovely. So you're enjoying your coffee and I am making a chai caddy. That's what this is known as. And I've got my garbage can here next to me, a little bin. And inevitably I have to brush these pieces because as you guys know, um, what is this called? The glitter paper is a little bit thicker, so you kind of have to poke these little pieces out. But look at how gorgeous this is. I mean, let me show you this one up close. Look at how lovely that detail is. 
So this is what I love about Tonic Studios is that they manage to create these very delicate pieces that you can layer. Um, and it just elevates your project. And I just think it's absolutely stunning. It requires patience, as you can tell. It requires you spend your time cutting, cutting, cutting. But in the end, if the result is something that you absolutely are proud to present, then why not? That's the way I look at it. Um, and guys, just to let you know, that's only one option for this box. If you just so happen to have a die that's the same length as this, then there's nothing saying you couldn't use it for the same box. You know? That's the benefit of owning owning the pieces. You do you do whatever you want with them after that. And I'm sure I must have at least two or three other die sets that have a die this size or similar to it, you know? So I'm going to keep plugging away. And I would say if you're here and enjoying the content, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If anything, for selfish reasons, it allows YouTube to know that you enjoy crafty videos. Um... It helps me to know that you enjoy the content, of course. That this is something you want me to keep doing. Uh, I'm holding my breath here. The price sticker <laughs> is not my friend because it ugh, sometimes it tears the paper, but I didn't see it ahead of time. So uh, this one might be a little bit different than the rest. Come on, baby. I'm trying not to tear it. There, I did it. I did it. Okay, come on, baby. Do you guys talk to your crafts? I do it all the time. <laughs> I've got three, two, okay. I need three more, three more, three more. Paper piece. Hey, don't knock, you know, don't knock yourself for that. It's, um, it's still worthwhile, you know? And, you know, as we were discussing in the previous video, which I guess, you know, a lot of you guys were not able to watch that, and that's okay. But it was, um, somebody asked, <laughs> well, as I said before, if it doesn't work out, I just chuck it in the bin and keep on, you know, I move on. I try not to get too emotionally attached. But, um, you know, we were mentioning, somebody was asking, well, I was making the live video with my mom. How do I get inspired to craft? And we both said the same thing, which, you know, of course, I'm so proud um, that we have the same mental attitude about that. And it was the, the recipient. It's not thinking about how great can I craft. It's more about how, how big a smile do I want to see on that face when they open up a box and they see something that I made. Um, it's uh, just like anything else. It's a love language, you know. People who play with paper, we do it because of the end result and how it makes other people feel. At least that's what I recommend. Um, if you're doing it for the sheer, I don't know, for any other reason, then I, I, I guess I couldn't help you with that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, every now and then you have to have a, um, a conversation with your... Um, with your crafts and tell them to behave <laughs> especially I don't know if you guys have done this but I've done it I know that I've done it where I'm like oh so close to finishing and then I glue that one last piece of paper upside down or something <laughs> I'm like darn it <laughs> why <laughs> but that's more like if I get distracted or something it's more likely to happen um which doesn't take much. <laughs> and in fact, that's one reason I used to make, um, 
I used to make videos for a particular company and I don't have those videos up anymore. Um, yes, yeah, see Louisa, we have the same kind of perspective on that. Um, I used to uh, make videos for this one company and then I, I came on here, I think I did a video about it, where I had to uh, decline. <laughs> I had to decline the partnership of, or collaboration or whatever the heck you want to call it. And it was because I found myself in that situation of um, trying to cajole this, this die set into working. And I was like, what am I doing to myself? I'm over here fighting with a, a die. Like, no, life is about so much more than that. So I emailed them and I let them know. I was like, yeah, um, thank you, but no thanks. <laughs> I can't do that anymore. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to stick with the things that make me happy. And that is quality products. Things that actually work as they are intended to work. Because let's face it, you know, stuff happens. Every company has a dud here and there. And it happens to every single company. Absolutely. But um the cool thing about companies like this is that when you communicate with them, they're really wonderful in their service. Absolutely, Louisa, I'm with you on that. Um, but I learned the hard way also to stop spending money on junk because I cannot tell you how many paper cutters I own before I invested in a good one. Um, and... Um, once you add it up, you know, as they say, you get what you pay for sometimes. I realized that I could have saved up all that money and then just bought one good one. So I've been trying to go um, with that philosophy on to, you know, almost everything else. Because let's face it, you know, like you see Louisa's crafts and she makes gorgeous, stunning items by altering uh, things from the dollar store. So it's not to say that you have to spend a ton of money to get something beautiful, you know? If you have talent, then it speaks for, for itself. But as far as tools are concerned, then yeah. I do, um, yeah, see Elizabeth, I was in that, I was in that, uh, situation myself. And then I was like, you know what? Enough of this. <laughs> and, um, two four five oh i'm almost there i thought i had all of them and it was actually my husband who told me you know stop buying junk <laughs> he was like just get the best of it what is your problem and it's probably because he heard me <laughs> like louisa was saying he probably heard me muttering over here like <laughs> you piece of junk you know, that sort of conversation. So he's like, girl, just get what you need. Stop fighting <laughs> with inanimate objects. <laughs> yeah, I have a stash over here, Elizabeth. I have a stash right next to, uh, uh, over there in that little corner of things that need to get used. <laughs> uh, from, it was Hobby Lobby and the dollar store. And I'm hoping I get around to it this year. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to try to do this. Come on, baby. There we go. I can now finally, I think, put this away. Try not to slice my finger in the process. Here we go. Um, okay, so I've got these. Okay, and okay, so six of those, hopefully, if I counted correctly. <laughs> Pretty pastel color. You know what, Louisa, I think you and a couple other ladies have started a trend with a dollar store because I, I'm telling you right now, I don't think they ever used to carry um, 
the quantity of cute things that they have now. It just, it's blown my mind how it's changed. And um, we have, I always forget the names, but we have a Dollar General, is it? Dollar General, not too far from where we live here. And I could not believe how big the craft aisle got all of a sudden. I was like, whoa, what's going on here, you know? Um, and woohoo! there we go. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to uh, fix what I kind of messed up earlier. So I was using the wrong die. And yes, I agree, that little caddy is adorable. So you have to tell us who who made that die, or actually, I think you said you made the box yourself. Am I correct on that? You made the base uh, yourself and just happened to have like a tag die that worked with it. Is that what you did, Louisa? Because I was like, ooh, yeah, clever girl. I'm loving that. Because um, I did a similar thing with the, uh, the memory decks box. I saw a tutorial and I, I can't recall right now who did it. Um, but she used a big, huge rectangle. Rectangle, I'm sorry. Um, oh, okay. All right, that's what I thought. Oh, wow. <laughs> Louisa, you, you're keeping them in business then. If they've got, they have three aisles of crafts. That's amazing. All right, one more to go here, guys. And I think I can start gluing. Lord have mercy. Come on, baby. Now, typically, uh, you don't have to cut these things twice. I just started off with the wrong shape. And again, because I did not know how to use the die set, seeing as it's my first time using it, and I had not watched a tutorial or anything like that, so I like to learn as I go, and that's part of it. That's just how it goes. But this die has a little notch there. So now what I did was that I used uh, the die to make all of these complement one another. That's why I was cutting that again. And let's set it aside. Hopefully I don't have to do any more cutting today. Because I'm working up a sweat, ladies. <laughs> TMI, right? <laughs> okay. Take a sip here. Oh, goodness sakes. Okay, so now I'm going to set aside what I don't need. And I can start layering these now. And they're going to match perfectly because I use the coordinating dies. So a little bit of glue goes a long way with this. And it does dry clear, so if you get a, you know, a little messy, don't worry too much. But now this is going to match perfectly. And I'm loving the metallics. And of course, this is going to be festive on purpose. But as I mentioned before, you can make it demure. So Louisa says, bringing back my snowflake dye nightmare. Oh, I didn't catch that. Did you have one that didn't work at all? Um, okay, so I'm going to layer this here. Okay, so that's going to be the one side. Now, this is a rose-colored 110-pound um, cardstock, so if it looks beige in the video, it isn't. It is actually a very light rose. Oh, hello, Samantha. Bonjour. Thank you for being here. Just crafting away. Oh, you didn't know how to use it. Okay. Yeah, I hear you. That happened to me when I first got those uh, movers and shaper dies. Do you guys remember those? Oh, you did it live. Oh, okay. Well, hey, the way you can look at it is you spared a lot of other people from having the same hard time, you know, because if if you have to figure it out, then at least you can pass it along. 
um okay there's that and one thing i learned and this was from watching um you know jennifer mcguire i jokingly call her a la akbar <laughs> jennifer mcguire <laughs> because she does the videos you know with so much detail and i don't know I, you know how she makes videos for every single company and all that good stuff but she does share a lot of tips and tricks oh thank you i'm trying <laughs> i'm not great but i'm trying um I, I always say i can read it better than i can speak it that goes for italian portuguese and french i can read it just repeating what it says is a whole other you know it's not as easy um but I'm grateful for my friends that speak different languages than I do because I learn so much from you. Just watching the videos, what I do is I really try to pay attention to the subtitles and read it. And that way I can pick up even more of the language. So I love that. And as a kid, my, you know, I had friends from all over the, all over the world, really. I grew up in the military, so I love that about my childhood and... It added just, I don't know, adds more interest to the world when we're different. To life, I should say. Adds more interest to life. So here we are, halfway there, guys. I am digging this. Very shiny. Ooh, wonderful. Carolyn, are you buying uh, stuff for next week by any chance? We were just talking about Thanksgiving a little while ago. And I was sharing that I'm making flan or creme caramel, um, as it's also known. I'm making coconut, rum, cheese, vanilla. I'm making myself hungry as I speak. <laughs> Wonderful. Do you have any traditional dishes that you make, Carolyn? Please share. So we can learn from one another. Thank you, Luisa. And I know, you know, it was time consuming and some of the ladies are probably not even still with me that started out with me earlier, but I do appreciate those of you who are here, even if you have to go and that sort of thing. I don't get offended by that, guys, so. Yeah, my husband picked up a duck. I think I mentioned that earlier. So I will probably make duck l'orange. Um... And it's going to be interesting because the one time of the year that I like to make my arroz con gandules is Thanksgiving. And if you don't know what that is, it's a traditional Puerto Rican dish with uh, rice and... Um, oh, awesome. Thank you, Sandra. Rice and... Um, what's it called? Uh, I don't know how to say gandules in English. I think it's uh, some sort of pea. I don't know. Guys, I'm being a little bit messy, but this dries clear, so I'm not going to worry too much. I just want to make sure these little corners get glued down. Okay. There's that. I'm trying to make sure it's not crooked. And, praise the Lord, I'm almost done. Puerto Rican foods. Oh, pernil. Yeah, that's what I made last year. And let me tell you, there was not a little drop of that left <laughs> when everybody was done. Oh, man. It was like, okay, we're stuffed. And then I traveled to Puerto Rico last Christmas. And uh, my mom had... Um, and guys, I'm sorry for anyone who's vegetarian who might be watching, but my mom had a pig killed for us, or I should say my father, and we had a feast. <laughs> Let me tell you, <laughs> that was insane. Pigeon peas, thank you. Thank you so much, Lisa. Yeah, so it's rice with pigeon peas, um, but it's a particular dish because you do have to take some extra steps. It's not just the rice and pigeon peas. There's a whole lot more that, that goes into it. 
And in my tradition, I even use the banana leaf to make that rice. So thank you. But thank you for translating that. Yeah. And it adds a it adds a really nice flavor. Okay. All right. So here we are. We got all our sides done, the edge of the top done. And then of course, here's the lid that we had mentioned before. And for that, you can also use a decorative piece here. Believe it or not, there's these little pieces that can go on there. And actually there's more than one style. This is insane. And then there's these little pieces that came, and I'm sorry, I'm talking and not showing you guys. There's these pieces here that can go on this layer, okay? So, um, it's incredible to me how much detail. Okay, let's see if we can group those together. And maybe, I think, Trying to figure this out, guys. Again, first time using it. I think I can use those. And it looks like if you want to make this um, a handle with a bow, you can also use this piece and add it there. And it has a little hole for the ribbon, which I think is really cute. So let's use that. And okay. There's also, um, if you want it to have, uh, what do you call this? The little detail here, there's this piece. See how it's got the little pointillism, what that's known as? Or you can use the, the layers that have the decorative edges there. So, sofrito. All right, so you use tomato sauce. Oh yeah, pasteles, oh my gosh, yeah, definitely. I haven't made pasteles in a couple of years, but, oh Lord, it's easier. This is one of those things that's easier to do in a group, you know, if you have more family with you and that sort of thing. And sadly, that's not the case for me. Like I mentioned before, my mom was here visiting, but she moved on in her travels. So, um, the, uh, it might... It might be a while before I venture into that again. Um, but yeah, that's definitely my favorite, favorite holiday dish by all means. Would have to be pastel. Because it's like that smell gets in your kitchen and you're transported back to, <laughs> back to the island. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to use these little guys, and I'm going to keep it with the rose gold just because it'll be easier, I think. Let me see here. Yeah. Set these aside for a moment. moment. Oh, Lord have mercy. Something buzzed. I don't know what it was. But I hope it's not my battery because I am plugged in. Hoping this is enough for all of this. We will find out in a minute. Oh yeah, wow. That's a lot of work when you get into selling them. Right now, the only thing that I sell is flan. That's it. <laughs> Louisa, you can get take a flight get on an airplane and come up to New York and we can make some Puerto Rican food together, you know? Nothing wrong with that. All right, thankfully I only need, let me see how many of these I need. I don't know yet. But yeah, there's nothing better than a house full of people making traditional foods with the smells and the music and all that good stuff. You'll supervise. <laughs> so you don't cook. 
I take it. Huh? No cooking, Louisa? <laughs> you, you girls know I'm just teasing, right? Yeah, my husband walks around yelling. He says, uh, what is it? He's got this little mantra. He's like, flan, flancocho. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, tres leches. <laughs> he just walks around the house yelling that. I'm like, you're crazy. Um, all right, I need one more of these. And I think I'm set with this one. Yep. So I think I'm just going to keep it simple so that I don't keep you guys here too long. I've already been on my feet for a long time, but at least I will finish the decorative part of this. So your hubby's, yeah, I know, Elizabeth, your hubby's craving pasteles. I don't blame him. I went as far as getting the Cuisinart, which, you know... I nicknamed it my jet propeller <laughs> mixer <laughs> just to make life easier with that. And I think back and I'm like, boy, if my grandmother was still alive, she would she would probably insult me for even having that in the kitchen, you know, because uh, back in the day, of course, you had to do it all by hand with the, the guayo, <laughs> which that's the Spanish for, um, uh, oh gosh, ladies, help me out. How do you say guayo? Um the thing <laughs> oh that's wonderful elizabeth then you have the best of both worlds because then you have if he cooks let me tell you oh man hands down mexican food is just oh the best that is you know next to puerto rican food <laughs> no 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 louisa that's not allowed <laughs> the greater yes i agree that, that handheld grater that you would lose your knuckles to every Christmas. Anybody relate to that? <laughs> so. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're team no ketchup in this house. I'm like, don't even ask me for it because you will get told to leave. <laughs> don't insult my meal like that. That's what I tell people. I'm like, do not even ask me. It's not in my fridge. It's not in my house. <laughs> all right so i'm just adding these little pieces here as you can tell make sure you guys can see what i'm doing here see that and this is just to finish it off um so samantha i don't know how many uh if she's still here i think so i can't tell uh let me see so, Samantha, if you're still here, darling, um, in Puerto Rico, there's a debate <laughs> of, do you eat ketchup on the traditional foods that took you 10 hours to make, or do you not add ketchup? <laughs> to me, I'm like, listen, I'm married to an American, and I still don't allow that. <laughs> Yeah, ketchup drowns everything. Having said that, my mother likes it. She likes it on her uh, pasteles. And I'm like, woman, that is sacrilegious. How dare you? <laughs> oh, gosh. But I'm going to go ahead and put this on here because I do want to, of course, add a little ribbon there. Oh, okay, so Samantha, I was explaining there's uh, there's team ketchup and team no ketchup. <laughs> I'm team no ketchup. <laughs> um, because I'm like, dude, I made sofrito from scratch. Are you kidding me? And you're going to put ketchup on that? <laughs> and sofrito is the base of our food. You know, the flavors come from the sofrito. Um... So, okay, so there we are. I just glued those two pieces together and it created that little dumb, uh, dome, I should say, not dumb. <laughs> yeah, steak sauce, same thing. If your steak tastes good, it don't need no sauce. <laughs> 
It's like, get that stuff away from me. Anyway, um, all right, so there's that. And of course, I could keep adding to this, but I'm going to keep it simple for today. And let me see. So the closure, again, it's a little triangle. I'm going to fit it in there and then twist it to lock. Oh, let me make sure I got it right. <laughs> I compared this to a children's toy and here I am struggling, right? But I think I gotta press it down maybe a little bit. I don't know. But I'm not I don't want to destroy it on my first attempt. But there's our little box. And as I always do, I'm going to finish this off with little details. Um <laughs> Carolyn. Carolyn, <laughs> let me move the camera. uh carolyn's team ketchup she's trying you're trying to uh reiterate your point there it ain't gonna work sister <laughs> it ain't gonna work not convincing me steak sauce and scrambled eggs oh wow yeah your your palate changes when you're pregnant i can oh yeah my cravings were nasty <laughs> they were so Ugh. Yeah, I don't even want to remember. My cravings were gross when I was pregnant with my firstborn. With my second one, all I wanted was ice. That's it. So that was good for me. But cute little box, right, guys? So again, this was the chai box. It was only available for a month until so, or I think it sold out. Um, but that's the Tonic Studios des designer's choice. Um, you guys asked about. The coffee one, I've yet to even break this out. So I'll do a video with this one. And this was the, um, what's it called again? Coffee collection. So I will be making some of those. Um, and here's the other box. Where'd I put it? <laughs> it's right behind here. I can't even find my own head, guys, sorry. Um, yeah, the coffee ones are phenomenal. Um, let me put the camera right there. And then here's the one that I made in the last live, okay? So if you're seeing a theme there, it's festive, it's pretty. So what I'll do is um, the same way that I decorated this one, which I just put a little bit of this and that on top. Um, I will do the same over here and then add the little gems. See how I add little gem details and all that stuff? And little bits of glitter here and there. Um, thank you so much. I'll do the same thing here. Add the little gems because the other option is, and let me show you that. Um, oh, don't mean to keep walking away, but you guys, if you've seen my room, there's shelves over there and that's where my stuff is. The other option is to do this. This is inlay piecing, paper piecing. Okay. So you can cut the die again and then only use the particular pieces that will fit in there. And depending on what stands out to you, what you like, and how much patience you have, <laughs> you can um, start layering that in there and get yourself a whole different look also um, because it ends up being like a mosaic. Hi, Leslie. <laughs> Louisa says, no, no patience. Well, for this, what I did was I cut it again and I only did the flowers. There was, n this This was not gonna happen, this right here. But I only did the flowers, and then for the centers, I used Nouveau Drop, the stone drops. They look like sand when it's dry. Um, yes, Leslie, I had to drop her off at the airport Tuesday. Oh, I, Tuesday was a long day for me. I had to go to the airport, I had to get up at four in the morning drop her off my husband had left also he was traveling then uh I'm trying to think that evening i had to drive away again and then the next day i had to pick up my husband at the airport so it's it's been a week um yeah i miss her i miss her already i was like i let me just drive home so i wouldn't be like <laughs> You know crying all the way home oh gosh it's hard not to you know because uh we live so far apart from each other but you know it's lesson in life when you're young and you make choices you never know where you're gonna end up <laughs> um 
I ended up living in New York State thinking that I was only going to be here for four years, but that didn't happen. Here I am 24 years later, uh, or wait, how long? I don't know, 20 some odd years later, I'm still here. So who knows? But yeah, thank you guys for being here. I wanted to let you know, to remind you, oh, uh, Carolyn, did you want to see the rest of the haul? Um, because I can show you real quick before I go. And that way you know what's coming up next uh, for me anyway. Uh, I'm reading the screen. Where is Car is Carolyn getting ketchup? Or does she leave so she can go buy some ketchup? <laughs> All right. Um, oh, oh, oh. Here we go. So this was the rest of the haul, and it was the uh, bees. Uh, Carolyn, I know you don't like bees, but <laughs> it was this uh, this collection here. Um, and it came as a bundle, all this here, and it came with this gorgeous paper. So I'll show you that again. My room is a hot mess, guys. I need somebody to come help me clean. Y'all can see it in the video. Yeah, you can. See, where am I? I have a little bit of a delay, but I think on this side. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> so this is the paper. Beautiful memories. It's so gorgeous. And it's the first time Tonic Studios brought 12 by 12 decorative paper, double-sided. You think that's clean, Leslie? <laughs> yeah, it could be worse. What you're not seeing, sweetheart, is my floor and how I had to move some stuff from there to down there, only you can't see it. So no, <laughs> don't be fooled. <laughs> um... And yes, Sandra, thank you for the link. The giveaway for Sandy is linked there. So please visit her next. Hi. Yes, darling. I owe you something in the mail. <laughs> I have not forgotten. I'm going to, God willing, be going to the uh, post office tomorrow. Okay, sweetie? Um, so yeah, this is the paper that came with that collection. And wait, where do I see okay oh hi robin sorry sweetie this happens every now and then i miss a person and i'm like whoa yes this paper is just stunning i'm so happy they went with pink and not yellow even though i love yellow but um we'll see what pictures end up in this um but look at those florals and then there's this plant we actually had i forget the name of that we had that plant in our garden, and it's a hideous plant, but first, I don't know why they put that in there, but yeah, anyway, the, I like the roses, and it is double-sided, so I don't know if this bundle sold out. I think it did on Craft Stash, uh, but you can still get the dyes, so God willing, I will be back soon. It's going to depend on how next week goes, how much baking I get done as, you know, as soon as possible and all that jazz. But yeah, that's, I think I'm repeating it here, but it came with these, let me show you, the postcards. It came with that. So if you don't use it on the project, who cares? You can at least, you know, make some really beautiful cards. And then it came with the cutter parts. And of course you can use the tonic dies. Um, or hand cut them, whatever, but you can see there, um, and this here, I don't know what die set that will match up with, but yeah, the bees, yeah, but as I shared, um, oh, what I made with my mom, what did I make with my mom, I'm trying to remember, oh, you know what, sweetie, I'm sorry, uh, Carolyn, um, so what I made with my mom, I didn't get to take pictures of it for a couple of reasons. There were pictures included in those projects of people who did not necessarily give me any permission whatsoever to publish pictures of them. So out of respect for those families, I was not going to share pictures. But if you want to see the projects, you can take a peek by looking at that video. Um, one of them was in memoriam. 
and you guys know what that means so that's why um i didn't want to take pictures of that it's just in our cult culture it's considered to be disrespectful so it was hard enough for me to even show the project you know i kept doing this thing and putting my uh fingers on the picture and whatnot it's because i didn't want to show the young lady's face but the other one i just um i hadn't asked her and it was a surprise so um that's why i didn't i didn't add the picture so i'm sorry for that guys but but yeah please stop at the giveaway for sandy she's decorate your life you if you know sandy you probably already know this that she's been going through some medical issues so if you're a woman of prayer please i encourage you to pray not only for your own families but for our sisters who are crafters here on the you know youtube community who need prayer for upcoming surgeries and that sort of thing sandy is one of them um she's having surgery after thanksgiving um and she's asking people to share her channel in which she normally does this type of format where she says hello and does the uh the crafting but because she's lost her voice due to one of those operations she's had to put subtitles on her videos if you know how fickle people can be sometimes your viewership can drop a little bit and i'm hoping that that doesn't happen for a long time and i also hope that people can just be there to encourage Sandy to keep on going. She's a phenomenal crafter. So please visit that link. Tell her I sent you. She's doing a giveaway. And that giveaway will be of an entire stack. And I mean a stack of crafty product that she's been given to do design work with. So it's lightly used. But most of it is, you know, very new. Um, and she's asking that you share a VR before, I think tomorrow's the deadline. If you want to participate in the giveaway so you can do a vr or you can share it on i think it was instagram but i think she was share uh asking for a vr um and if you want to know what's one of my favorite videos of sandy's recently she did a mini album and i would encourage you to watch that video and leave it a thumbs up and it was with uh dyes that she cut watercolor paper out of the base and I think you guys know what I mean. I'm, I'm probably speaking all over the place. But uh, she did the base pages in watercolor paper. And then she used papers from another one of our crafty friends. Oh my gosh. Sandy Beach Scrapper, I think is her name. She's put out some beautiful collections. And she did one. Um, and yes, and Isabel also shared. Yes. Okay, so tomorrow's a giveaway. Uh, so if you have a couple of minutes to share it, that would be great. Salty Beach Scrapper. Thank you. Yes. So she did. She used some of her papers to make a mini album. It came out stunning. It's on sale right now at her website. So if you need a mini album to give away to uh, anyone, really, it's, it's so beautiful. Uh, as far as I know, it's still available from her website. You could buy that from her and just, you know, uh, support her. Um, and I think... Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all I needed to share today. Um, but if you guys have any questions, um, any comments, you can always email me. Uh, I'm winding down. I'm tired. <laughs> I've been talking for over an hour. So yeah, don't forget to um, just, you know, encourage one another. It's, it's important. Um, all of this crafting is meant to do that. And thank you so much, Sandra, for sharing the link. You're awesome. I owe you big time, sweetie. Um, and so if you keep coming back to this channel and sharing the, either share the videos or just, you know, um, watch the content, leave a comment. If you don't already know this on this channel, I select a winner every, mm, every three to six months or so. And I give away uh, just something that I've made. So you never know which video I made the project in because I don't announce it. It's just a surprise. And I'll, you know, suddenly ask you for your address or I'll ask a friend. And you'll receive something on my behalf in the mail. Uh, so that it's just a way for me to say thank you for your support using my links and all that good stuff. Uh, and none of that is given to me by any company, I purchase it 
on my own. So just to let you guys know, that's how I like to say thank you. So thank you guys for being here. I'm going to go now and make some flan. <laughs> But yeah, don't forget to come back and say hello. And uh, I hope that you can be inspired and be blessed. And thank you so much for watching. Ciao, ciao. I'm going to press the button now. Y'all ready? Don't eat ketchup. <laughs> no ketchup. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Beverly. God bless you. Bye. Love you guys. Ciao.